Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial where you will learn how to perform a fitting step-by-step -step in Compass 5. This tutorial will guide you through the basic steps to achieving an excellent first fit when performing wireless fitting in Compass. To show the guided process of the fitting wizard, we have used two Widex Clear 440 Fusion hearing aids with factory preset data in a binaural fitting situation. Options may vary depending on the hearing aid model selection. First of all, select the Detect Wireless icon from the top menu. Next, select the interface used by Compass to connect to the hearing aids that are to be fitted. Click Next. Define right and left for the hearing aids detected. Here you can also click on the note field to trigger an identifying tone for each hearing aid. If no hearing aids are detected, please check the distance of the hearing aids from the selected interface, the condition of the battery, and that the hearing aids are switched on. Click Next. In this example, a set of receiver in canal hearing aids have been detected, so you should select the hearing aid receiver type and the acoustic identity of the ear tip. The selectable variables for receiver types and acoustic identity will depend on the selected hearing aid model. Here you can also verify the left and right hearing aid by clicking the note field. Below, select your precision fit starting point. Options include the fitting wizard, fitting status and fine-tuning. The fitting wizard will automatically guide you through the relevant stages of the fitting process to ensure an excellent first fit. An alternative way to fit is to choose fitting status. Compass will then calculate the gain settings based on an estimated sensorgram and feedback test values. Under this item you can choose to change the preconditions, measure the sensorgram and complete the feedback test. In a follow-up session situation, you progress to the fine-tuning window. At this stage, you should have instructed your client in the fitting process and equipped him or her with the hearing aids. Since this is a first-time fitting, the fitting wizard is chosen and OK is clicked. This will bring you to the preconditions window where you can change the rationale conditions. The options available here will depend on the data imported from the NOAA database, such as client age and the nature of the hearing loss. Here you can also set the acoustic conditions for the right and left ear, including assessment of in situ acoustics or ISA, RECD selection, ear set tubing length, or length of the ear wire and the type of ear set tip. If you have verified all settings, click Next to continue. The sensorgram window for the right hearing aid now opens. Select the talk over function, instruct your client in the procedure and start to measure the four basic in situ thresholds for the client's right ear. In most scenarios, it will be sufficient to measure four bands, but if you assess that a more detailed measurement is required, you can open and measure the relevant in situ thresholds in the expanded sensorgram. When you have finished taking measurements, click Next to repeat the process for your client's left ear. Upon completion of the left ear sensorgram measurement, click Next to proceed to the feedback test for the right hearing aid. Inform your client of the upcoming sound sequence and make sure that your client has his or her hearing aid placed properly in the ear and is situated in quiet surroundings. Click Start Test and wait for the progress bar to show Test Complete. Verify that the status field shows OK. If the status field shows Not OK, please ensure that you have quiet surroundings for the test and verify the placement of the ear mold in the client's ear.
When the status field shows OK, click Next to proceed and complete the feedback test for the left hearing aid. After the successful completion of the second feedback test, click Next to set up the hearing aids programs in the program selection window. You can add programs to the hearing aids by selecting the program and assigning it by clicking on the Add button. You can read a brief description of the program and its feature settings by selecting it. You can add up to five programs, including the Smart Toggle program, depending on your client's wishes and requests. You can also change the order of the added programs, copy programs, or delete unwanted programs from the hearing aids. Click Next to finish program selection, and the fitting is now complete. The wizard will prompt you to select whether you wish to progress to fine-tuning, dex matching, or a fitting status view. Make your selection and click Finish.